Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Phil Mouse and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to acquire the Wrath of the Ancients bow and arrow in the new zombie map, Der Eisendrock. Yes, I already know there's videos out there that already explain how to do this from much bigger YouTubers, but I don't care. On this map, I'm trying to figure out as much as I possibly can and I try to do it on every zombie map that comes out I try to figure out things on my own before I go watching other people's videos and so I'm gonna take y'all through the things that I learn and let's see how far we can get but anyways the first thing you need to do there's three dragons that are up on the walls across the map and you need to fill these dragons up it's pretty simple it's kind of like the dogs in Black Ops 2 that were on the wall except this time it's dragons and you have to fill them up it's between five and ten zombies and uh <clears throat> it's pretty simple to be honest with you and the first the first zombie statue is in this little courtyard when you spawn in in the spawn room you go to the right you'll open the first two doors and he will be out here in this little uh this little courtyard looking thing and he will be right there up on the wall as you can see it he's right below that window and what you got to do is you have to kill one zombie in front of him to like activate him and then he will start eating the zombies. And once you get the, the zombies, <clears throat> uh, w once you feed him enough zombies, he will blow a big thing of fire and he will go back up into the uh, position that he is in right now and he will turn to stone and he will crumble to the ground and that means you are done with this one. So... After you get that one, it's time to move on to the next one. Alright, now the second thing you need to do is find this little laboratory and our next little dragon friend will be above the fireplace as you see here. You'll have to open like a couple doors to get to him and you'll be turning the power on as you are going to him as well. So that is a plus in the steps. And same thing applies, kill a zombie near him to activate him, then kill X amount of zombies around him to feed him and then once you get those zombies done he will do just as he did before and go back up on the wall and turn to stone and he will crumble and fall to the ground and that lets you know that you are ready to move on to the next dragon now the next thing you need to do is find the very last dragon it's very easy you go down two little flights of stairs and you go into the pyramid room what i like to call it and the dragon is right there in front of the pyramid room as you can see on the screen now and as the previous two same thing applies kill one zombie to activate him then kill x amount of zombies to feed him and fill him up whatever and then once he goes back up on the wall turns into stone and crumbles you are finished and it is time to go get your wrath of the ancients bow now, once you get all three dragons filled up, all you got to do is go back up one flight of stairs and the Wrath of the Ancients bow is in this little cubby hole where the three dragon heads are coming off the wall. The bow is right there for you to take. Take you one and prepare to rain hell on all the zombies coming at you in the future rounds. And that's pretty much it guys like i said it's very simple to get all you gotta do is feed all three of the dragons you just gotta locate them uh kill one zombie to activate them and then kill x amount of zombies to feed them and then the bow will be right there in the open for you to take and like i said rain hell on some zombies dude so anyways if this helped y'all out and y'all did not know this and Y'all might be like me and don't want to watch YouTube videos to get all the answers and you want to try to figure out things, you know, by yourself. Please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. If you would like to see more of these kind of videos, I don't really do tutorials or tips and tricks kind of videos. I just like to talk about my gameplay. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you think I should do more of them, give the video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know if... I did okay let me know if I did bad I'm all for constructive criticism so uh, lay it on me but anyways thank you for stopping by the channel and we will catch you on the next video peace out